Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. We got Farmer Bonzo on yes, deck. Look at you. You're looking good. Uh, we're starting the day off at the pond, Millie's favorite place. Uh, she's about to go muddy it up real quick, so let's take a quick scan before she does that. We got any fish dangling under the bridge yet? Ooh, ooh, that's a frog. See him? Oh, he stopped. Kager frog, look at all the dust right there. Kager frog right there. It's still pretty muddy. I feel like with the rain, until we get grass here, like every time it rains and stuff, it's just, it's still gonna keep getting muddy. It's it's a little bit clearer than it was, but it's not getting, it's not getting crystal clear by any means. But feeders out there doing feeder things, I can see there's actually a lot more feed on the, on the dock than there was. So I know it's working. I don't know if the fish are eating any of it, but I know it's working. But anyway, we're gonna start the day off today doing a little fishing and um, we'll probably start off on the bank, kind of see how that goes. I would like to see if the, the bite on the dam is good uh, before we even have to launch a boat. But if we have to launch a boat we can launch the boat it's no big deal and then the vet is going to come to the house um we've got a vet that's going to come and basically take a look at all the animals i mean we've got a plethora of animals here and they need vaccines they need to be checked on they need you know all the basically all the necessities to make sure they don't get sick just like you would your dog and actually the vet is actually going to look at millie and finn and give them you know all the medicine the tick the flea the heartworm heart guard whatever all that stuff is um basically we're, a vet's going to come and hopefully vaccinate anything that needs to be vaccinated kind of check on everything just make sure everything's still healthy and we're not going to have any casualties out here so that'll be interesting because more than likely we're going to have to wrangle everything up and you know like kind of pin it down in a sense at least hold it still while the vet does vet things um, which could get interesting because you know steve is freaking steve and uh he's not the easiest and then the cow is it's i mean it's a cow so uh, I don't have like one of those things where you like shut it on their like neck and it just kind of holds them in place and stuff Like I don't have one of those things. One of those things is gonna consist of us three We're gonna be the the cow holding head locking thing cut that our I, hair at the same time. It, we should we should bring a pair of scissors to cut Carol's hair Carol is our new pet cow and her hair is covering her eyes. We're thinking about giving her a little haircut We might do that today. But anyways, like I said, we're starting the deaf. We wanted to give it a little bit of a dang We've got a solid hour one hour before the vet comes. I just wanted to come see uh, now that it's kind of the afternoon It's a little bit warm this morning was freaking freezing it's warmed up a little bit so we want to do a little bit of dangling but before this video gets started i want to say huge thanks to carl's for sponsoring today's video if you guys want anything fishing related whatsoever if you are a carl's member you get everything on the website up to 30 percent off it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out it is my resource for all things fishing rods reels lines lures anything you might need for fishing up to 30 percent off if you are a carl's member so go ahead and click the link down below go sign up get yourself geared up for spring fishing let's get to dangling here we go folks first bait i'm tying on this is a guggen squad scout this is a jerk bait and this is my all-time favorite color i've caught fish on this pond i've got fish on this bait at this pond before um but that we had a huge huge cold front come in last night i mean when i say huge we're talking it's maybe 50 degrees right now and it's blowing i don't know at least 20 miles an hour straight from the north so it uh you know not prime conditions for for bass fishing so something like this jerk bait i feel like will do the trick i'm also going to tie on a little spinner bait i've got this guy right here this is also a googling squad spinner bait called the zinger in white so we're going to give it the one two punch i think it's going to be a reaction bait bite today with how windy it is how cold it's been um i still feel like the fish are, are going to be a little bit active so anyways we're gonna get this tied on that tied on and start chucking around and hopefully we can land a few fish before the vet arrives Looky there, folks. We got one. Millie, what do you think, bud? You excited? We got a fish. I was literally reeling the jerk bait in. wasn't even wasn't even doing any jerks. Just straight up reeling, and we got one. What do you think, buddy? That's just a little guy. That's a squeak, squeak McGee, Mel. That's what we call that guy. What do you think? You ready? To sit? You want to give him a kiss goodbye? What do you want to name him? George. All right. See you later, George. Boom. There you have it, folks. One fish on the old Guggen Squad jerk bait here. Uh, not bad, a little damn fish, but it's kind of a small one. That, that makes me think, you know, it bit it not on the pause, but on the reel end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change baits up. I'm going to change to what I was talking about earlier. This is the Zinger spinner bait. Something that constantly moves versus this is kind of a jerk, jerk pause. Could you jerk this thing fast? Absolutely, but this thing, I feel like has the flash needed on a day like today. So we're gonna go ahead and switch up baits and see if we can catch more fish. Here we are, folks, made another move walking around we i don't i really don't want to take the boat out just because it's well millie mainly we want to we we'll want to go on it and that's just kind of chaos and we don't have that much time we've only got about 20 minutes left before we have to uh before the vet's going to be here so kind of walked over on this side and going to try to make some casts i know the channel runs this way so we're trying to run like kind of a channel swingish looking area see if this works let's see can i cast from up here oh god yeah i can oh yeah this is perfect oh now we're talking okay Definitely gonna catch nothing right here. And nothing. All right, we gotta go, folks. We're out of time. The vet's gonna be here in about five minutes. Millie, ready for your vet checkup? 
Sounds good. Yeah, do we need to pin her down? If we can hold her. It's alright, Dale. It's alright, dude. It's alright, buddy. Good job, dude. You did it. There you go. Hey, you already got your shots, dude. Chill. I mean, Steve went better than I thought. It helps when there's a lot of guys. Yeah. And not hooking. Because he lets them out of the gate all the time. We got everything done. Everything's been chilling except for the cow. This is working because there's not really like there's not really any stop in the cow. I'm gonna try to go up there and calm it. And if it starts freaking out, we better just hang on. Oh, that's how it works. Hey, you're fine. Good job, Carol. Good job, Carol. Wow. You killed it, bud. Shoo! Well, that was easier than I thought. Vets came in and uh, took care of business. We, that literally took 15 minutes. I was dreading it. I was thinking it was going to be crazy. Listen, when you got a bunch of beefcakes in here, all it takes is just a little bit of manpower. Hold everything down. Give it the vaccine. Once a year. That's all he said. And he said, just be careful. Look at you know, look out for signs of uh, of worms and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, he's like, you guys, your guys' stuff looks pretty good. So, um, one thing we were talking about, though, because the vet actually asked us, hey, what else do you plan on getting? Because you got a lot of stuff. I'm like, well, the one thing that we still don't have that I would like to have would be pig. And he asked where we, we were going to put them. And I was like, well, in here that got us thinking obviously we got rick in here rick's been a troublemaker since day freaking one um last time we put rick in the big pen he actually just jumped out um and he started fighting everybody so he's just he's a troublemaker so unfortunately there's a chance we're gonna have to we're gonna have to sell and get rid of rick the og i know i don't want to but it makes no sense to have him by himself he's not happy all alone and he takes up this really nice pen that could be used for our new picks because the reason why that would be nice for the pigs is because it's got concrete floor so it's easy to scoop out the poop and get rid of it um because versus like goats and stuff you just let it rip but for pigs you're gonna want to scoop that stuff out otherwise it just it gets to be too much this is like the perfect size pen for pigs so since all the grass is already killed and everything it's not like they're gonna really ruin much so i want to give rick one last chance just one Rick, make me proud, my guy. We're going to bring him over there. We're going to stick him with all the animals, and we're going to keep an eye on him. Because uh, we are going to try to build a chicken coop today. That is today's video. So we should be kind of hanging around here to keep an eye on Rick. I want to give him one last chance. Now that they've got extra space, we also have Carol the cow in there who can lay down the law on Rick. And we got Steve the alpaca who could potentially lay down the law. I don't know. I, I know it's like the whole pecking order thing. But, like, again, we've got Felicia the donkey who's pregnant. Karen just had a baby. Like, if Rick headbutts the baby, you might just see a Rick catch and cook on the spot to be honest because i love that baby there's just no way i'm gonna put up with that so anyways let's just uh let's get rick over and we're gonna hope for the best you guys stay tuned rick if you disappoint me rick you realize you're gonna go to the auction right you got one job don't beat anyone up you hear me why would you do that you want to beat him up 
He's gonna beat you up. All right, Rick, we're letting you off. Your final moments, Rick. You messed this up, you're gonzo. You're gone from the farm forever. Come here, come on. Yeah. There you go. All right, Rick. I'll do anything I wouldn't do. Hey, hey, you're starting off on the wrong foot. Hey, you be nice. We'll let him calm down for a second. Millie, Millie, Millie. This is not Dale. He is not your friend. This isn't Dale. Dale's nicer than Rick. Rick is not nice. Hey, don't, don't hit her while she's down. Uh, oh, snap! <laughs> He's trying to square up with Bonzo. Get some green grass. Oh, oh, snap! Rick! I ain't scared of you, Rick. Rick, let's go. Rick, let's tussle. Rick, calm down, buddy. What are you gonna do now, Rick? <laughs> Come on, Rick! Get him, Rick! Beat Bonzo up, Rick! <laughs> Millie! Millie, you're getting too close to Rick. See? Look, look what's gonna happen. Come on, Rick! Yeah, oh god, he's look at <laughs> He's gonna push me in the pond. Come on, Rick. You can do better than that, buddy. Yeah, Rick. Square up. Oh, he's kind of horny, actually. Square up. You got a red rocket right now. Square up. Come on. Yeah. Put him it, up. Look at it. Dude, you're making him horny. <laughs> Stop. Get up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Rick, be nice to everybody. Get in there. Oh, God. This is going to be interesting. Dale, that's your cousin. Uh, Rick, be nice to everybody. Hey. Oh, hey. Yeah. Dale doesn't have horns, that's cheating. Hey, Get Dale him, doesn't Dale. Get him, Dale. Dale! <laughs> Poor Dale doesn't have horns. Do it to Carol. Do it to Steve. Oh, he's going for Steve. Oh. oh. Oh no. Steve. Give it to him, Steve. Oh. Oh! Chill! Rick! Calm down. He's not doing too bad. Yeah, he's go. just hanging out. I can't wait till he finds Steve. I wanna, for I, wanna, Carol. I, wanna, I wanna see him find Carol. Rick, go find go go beat up Carol. See what happens. Carol? <laughs> Car do not be mean to Carol. Carol, beat him up, Carol. Hey, how's it going, Dale? Beat him up, Carol. Carol, show him who's boss. He's doing all right. Dude, he's doing so much better than last time. Oh, God. Steve. Steve's the one you gotta worry about. He's a sleeper. You, you just think he's chilling, and all of a sudden he just takes you out. The two biggest beefcakes on the farm. Carol's not backing down. I like it, Carol. Feed him to the tigers, Carol. You got it. Come on, Carol. He's wagging his tail. Oh, oh, get him, Carol. Don't take that, Carol. Also, I don't want to like, uh, I don't want you guys thinking I'm promoting animal fighting, by the way. Um, that's not the, it's, it's obviously just a joke. Like, no one's actually fighting or getting hurt. It's, it's the way that goats play. Look at him. He's doing all right. Rick, you're doing so much better than you did last time. I'm so proud. Because if you didn't, hey, be nice to Carol. What the hell, Rick? What's wrong, Rick? You remember Karen? You and Karen used to be roommates. Remember that? Remember Felipe? That's half of Felipe. Don't disrespect him. Remember Felipe used to beat you up? Do you think they really figured out that fast who's the dominant one here and he's trying to challenge Carol? Or do you think it's just a coincidence? Do you think Rick realizes that Carol's the beefcake? Yeah. Carol, should we trim your uh, hair so you can actually like see who's trying to fight you right now? Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I thought he was backing down. He's squaring up again. Come on, Carol. Beat him up. Uh-oh. I, I don't know if Rick knows what to do. Oh, come on, Carol. Give it to him. Look at him. They're just like, they're rubbing horns right now. Is that, what, is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? Why is there a chicken running back there? Who let the chicken out? Look, Rick and Carol are bonding. Good job, Rick. Don't, just don't, you can do this all day long. You guys are playing. It's fine. I just don't want to see anyone get hurt. What are you, a freaking dog? What in the hell? You ever seen that? Dude, I love it. Carol's not backing down. Add a girl, Carol. Hey, Millie, don't chase the chickens. Hey, leave the chickens alone, Millie. Millie, Millie, she just tumbled that chicken. Mel, quit chasing the chicken! It is chaos out here, folks. How's it going, bud? Look at you, are doing so well. Is it because we got Carol and Carol's putting you in your place you realize that Carol's too big for you? Anyways, as I was saying, I don't can- Look, even the babies are fighting. Look at that. It's just what goats do. They're brother and sister. Actually, they're two sisters. It's just what they do. I don't- Again, I'm not- oh. Hey! Hey! No! Do not- Do not break the fence! This is the one fence you can't- <laughs> He's gonna- He's about to break it. Here, stand over here. Stand over here. Get out- Get away from that. That's the worst fence he could do it on. Hey! Rick, come- Come beat this fence. Let's do it. He don't like Bonzo. Look at him. Ow! Look at- He don't like it. He don't like Bonzo. He's just gonna hop this thing. Why? Why you gotta put the stretch test on it? Oh my God. Why? Oh, cheese and rice, it's chaos. Anyways, like I keep talking about, we don't condone animal fighting. If anything's getting hurt, we'll kick Rick out. That's what happened the first time. He was like T-boning the sheep, and uh, so we kicked him out. But what they're doing right now, I'm fine with. They're just they're just butting heads a little bit, being a little rowdy, hanging out. If we can keep Rick in here, I will be a happy camper because then we've got the other pen, and Rick will be able to socialize with all these little youngsters. Just gotta be nice to everybody. Anyways, there you have it, folks. I think as of right now, we're gonna keep Rick. He's doing way better. Oh, oh, what's he? doing he's gonna jump it do not jump this fence why are you eating the t-post why is he such a beefcake why is he so big rick if you jump this fence we're just we're, we're gonna have to take you take you to the auction oh dude he's pissed why do you want to fight us you know why he realized we're bigger beefcakes than everybody in there yeah that's right we're just we're, we're freaking right. swole like that you know what i mean we're gonna let these guys chill for a bit and uh hey hey carol i love how carol just carol doesn't like initiate it 
but she ain't here to take it. Come on, Carol, beat him up. See, he's just playing. He's he, If he was pissed, he would be like, Millie, Millie could, you, could would you would you get out of the chicken coop? Why is everything so chaotic out here today? I just feel like I'm screaming at Millie, Dale, Rick, Carol. Oh, I feel like I'm just yelling today. Anyways, we're gonna go put this chicken coop together. I'll show you guys real quick what it looks like. This right here is the chicken coop. It's gonna look just like this guy right here. It's a 63 wide, 47 long, 60 inch high chicken coop. And it's three boxes on a pallet. And uh, the skid loader and all that stuff still down by the animal, or still down by the pond. So we're going to basically take each box, hopefully fit it on the mule. And uh, he's definitely gonna jump that fence. Rick, Rick, this is your last moment, Rick. Don't do it to me, Rick. We'll see if Rick gets out. He's definitely getting out. We're gonna put everything in the back of the mule, go up to the shop, put this thing together. See you guys there. We made it folks. We are in the workshop time to put this thing together. This thing should not be hopefully too difficult We're not really sure it's pretty lightweight though We're our thought behind us you guys might wonder we already have a chicken coop The thing about our other chicken coop is super freaking heavy and but it is warm It's good for winter This thing is lightweight looks dope and it's fresh clean everything new and we think it's probably gonna be live to be able to move around So it'd be nice to be able to like move the chickens around a little bit So you can give them basically like fresh grass not every day maybe every other week or something Um, so this could be like their summer. It's like a summer vacation home You know some people have like a house in florida for summer or for the no for the winter and then a house up north for summer if that makes any sense this is basically going to be the summer vacay for the chicken so we're gonna get everything unboxed and uh i guess we're gonna try to put this thing together we'll see what happens What do you think, bud? Is this your new house? You a chicken now? You identify as a chicken. Hey man, it's 2020, you do what you want in here. But hey, we got it done, folks. 47 minutes on a coop we've never put together before. I would say if we, now that we know what we're doing and we had like a couple more screw guns and we were just like trying to get done as fast as possible, well, I bet we could get this done in under 30 minutes. I mean, that had to have been the easiest chicken coop assembly. Now, I mean, it looks really nice. I would say this thing's built like a bag of wieners though. I mean, it is about the lightest weight, just rickety thing that you can get. I got it off Tractor Supply's website. I don't even know what the brand is. It is uh, the Omaha Wood Coop. That's what this one's called. Oh, rugged, rugged ranch. Not to poop on you, rugged ranch. Um, it just, it just doesn't feel like it would really withstand any like big snowstorms or rain. I mean, I could be wrong. Could be wrong. For those of you guys watching, if you guys are going to want like a super heavy duty, well insulated, indestructible coop, this is not it, folks. But like I said, we think it's going to be a good summer coop. So basically, how this thing works is it's got these little latches here that you pull out like that, and then this has the tray that they sit on. Then you've got some roosting bars up there. I guess they can't really get up there. Roosting bars up there, roosting things there that they can go there. And then these are the nesting boxes there. That's the ramp there. Wait, take that back. Is that just a chill spot? Because these are the nesting boxes. Oh, four. What, 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 what's this other guy here? Is this just like a... Is that the club? They just, I they, think so. they come hang out. One. It's a cafe. All right, so that's a cafe. That's the ramp. The ramp goes from there up there. They jump and then there's four nesting boxes. So, I mean, this thing could, I mean, if you had some chickens up top, or if they say, I mean, you could easily fit, I would say f at 10 to 12 chickens in here, you know, pretty snugly. Um, we only have eight chickens. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load this thing up on the trailer. Hopefully it doesn't get blown over because it is really freaking windy outside. And load it up on the trailer, take it down there, put it down there, kind of get the fluffage ready and just kind of put it over there and then probably end up chasing some chickens around and throwing them inside and see if they like it. If they want to stay in their original chicken coop for right now, that's not, that's okay, no problem. But this would basically give us the opportunity to close up the other coop, transition them to this one and maybe move it to a different spot um we'll think about it or it gives us the option just to buy like 12 more chickens if we just want an obnoxious amount of chickens we're not really sure what we're gonna do i just thought hey this thing looks cool i'd like to have a new coop to build and put together and take it down there and see what they think so with that being said we're gonna grab the trailer load this thing up and uh see you guys down there oh rip the ramp i knew this ramp would be problems Look at that. We need the trailer. Yeah, we don't need trailers. See how lightweight that is? I mean, bonds are just swole. That's all it is. See if we can get it down there without it falling. What up, chickens? You guys, welcome to your new home. Hannaford, welcome to your new... Millie? Millie, relax. We made it down here, folks. So this is the current chicken setup. Millie, 
Quit chasing them. Cheese and rice. She's like, she's good some days, terrible the next. I don't know what the strat is, but. So this is the current chicken coop, and we're basically gonna set this one right, right next to it. We have not been really using this. We've been leaving it open. Again, knock on wood, haven't had any issues, but we're gonna set this new coop over here and get it all situated and maybe take some of these chickens and throw them in there and see what they think. Like I said, they don't have to use this one right now. It's just gonna give us an option to get more chickens on the road. Maybe they like it, maybe they don't. We'll find out. Let's get this thing unloaded. What are you gonna, which side do you wanna do? You wanna go to the long side? So we're just gonna keep walking back like this? Now? Yep, now. Uh, Watch your toesies. Uh, Perfect. All right, here we go. New fluff, who dis? Coming in hot. So they've got four nesting boxes and then just like the base. So we're gonna put fluff in all of it. The only thing I like about this is like, the access is just these little doors. There's not like a huge door that opens everything. So it's kind of annoying, but. Smelly, quit chasing the chickens. Get rain on these chickens. So then right over on this side, this is where you collect your eggs every day. So there's four laying boxes, essentially. So you throw a little bit of fluffage in there. That way they're nice and comfy while they're laying. And then sometimes we'll throw either eggs or like golf balls in there. And that basically like imitates an egg so that once they see an egg, they'll just keep laying in that same spot. That looks pretty good to me. They got all the fluffage they need. Let's, let's add Hennifer. Hey, he Millie, leave Hennifer alone. Hey, quit Hennifer chasing Hennifer. Quit chasing Hennifer. All right, Hennifer, welcome to your new home, buddy. Look at her. Hannifer. She's gonna jump right out. You don't like it? We did all that. What the? They might, it might just take some time. We put their food in here. Yeah, everywhere. yeah, put their food, water, some eggs. But either way, this is gonna chill here. Let us know, should we just get more chickens? You know, let basically the chickens that are there rip. Let's get another set, put another fence around them. Let's get another set of chickens, just unlimited chickens. Comment down below, should we get more chickens or should we make these guys stay in here? Let me know what you guys would do in the comment section down below. Remember, if you guys wanna buy anything from Carl's, anything fishing related, rods, reel, lines, lures, whatever it might be, up to 30% off will be linked down below. Go check it out, also update, Rick hasn't broken out. so. We're, we're doing good. So far, Rick is not going to the auction or to the catch and cook station. You guys stay tuned in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and peace.